Hello everybody, welcome back to the Subscriber Designs episode 41. My name is Chris and today we have a few designs to try out. The very first design is what you see and this is made by Dog Bite Victim. That's his name. <laughs> Dog Bite Victim. Hey, how are you? So this is the Carrier Pigeon, TT. TT stands for Twin Tail by the way. And he, oh, he actually has instructions here. Full throttle on takeoff as soon as you leave the runway. Uh, 40 degree angle of attack. I like it. You should reduce the speed of around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, all right. And let me show you the single tail, which is just, you know, a single tail. <laughs> That's it. Oh yeah, and it has lights here as well, whereas the other one doesn't. Although this one, the other one does have a lights there, I believe. I think we're just going to try out the twin tails since it's, Got an extra tail. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I see that the fuel is not in here. It was it was taken. Oh, it's not. Is it going to the right a little bit? Yes. Oh, that's that's not good. Why is that angled? <laughs> that's not good at all. Yeah, the the wheels are just on an angle. Oh well, just hold down S, I guess, just for lift off. That will that will be fine. And retract the landing gears. Okay, very good. This is going to take a while. We are really picking up speed. Would you look at that? 700 meters per second. Hmm. Yeah, we go. Bit of reentry hit. Yeah, so let's see. The only fuel we have. So we don't have fuel there. We have fuel there. Just liquid fuel. We have fuel there as well. Yeah. I'm kind of curious as to why uh, he designed this with these specific fuel tanks which are realistically made for rockets whereas you do have the the other fuel tanks ones made specifically for planes such as this that's one of them and as you see it's not exactly flush when it comes to the connection here yeah. you could have used the other one but I, I guess you just wanted it to be circular in design so that's okay. Now oh, this this is dangerous. What I'm doing here? Even no. Oh no. Totally not dangerous. <laughs> okay, come on. Yes, yes, but we th should throttle down. Okay, don't worry. It's all good. We can we can save this. At least it's not swaying left and right. So that's that's a good thing. It's going fairly straight. It must be because of the the wings at the back. Hooray! <laughs> they are awesome. All right, we are decelerating. I think it's yeah. That's yeah. Okay, that's done for. All right, for, time for the uh, ultimate move. Three, two, one. Space bar. Whoa! That's a oh, that's that's not bad. Would you look at that? Separatrons. Yeah. Hey, pretty good. Yeah, I like that. And I assume, yeah, here we go. Just throttle up. Hmm. Should probably. We're really falling down, aren't we? That was bad. <laughs> Heretic, you don't know how to fly. Yes, I. I won't. I won't disagree with you there. I don't. Hmm. All right, we've done it. Oh, actually, I think we have spare fuel. We do. Oh, it's not bad. We can get in orbit and we can easily return. Yeah, that's good. All right, I think we'll just keep this here. The next design is this. <laughs> this is known as Mountain Lion MJX4. And this is made by Gruffin89. Well, <laughs> it's well designed, as you can see. It's very beautiful. Yeah, take a look at it. Look at, oh, I'm just going to do that. Look at that. There's no Kerbal in there at the moment, but if you wanted to get a Kerbal, all of you know how to do that. <laughs> he used he used that as a steering wheel. That is hilarious. Wow, the probe is a steering wheel. A very big steering wheel. Well, the dashboard kind of a... Hmm. You can do a bit of science here if you wanted to. You got a mystery goo. I'd probably suggest adding a few things if you wanted to take this to wherever else you wanted to take it and use it as, well, as you would a, a normal rover, except you, you want to go there in style, then this is 
this is for you. Bunch of battery banks. Um, you got solar panel back here, which is nice. Little addition. You saw the antenna already. Another antenna back there. I think there's one on the other side too. Yeah. Yeah. Well designed. Uh, if you want me to find some imperfections, I will. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Take a look here. These objects and the objects back here are placed differently. I'm not sure if that's meant to be a thing in real life. In real life, it should be about the same, right? I think so. Hmm. I don't exactly always stare at the, the jeeps. <laughs> oh well, um, it's a nice little thing. If you want to go ahead and try it out, I, I'd probably advise it. Yeah, go in star. Now we do a donut. Without the sound. Without the sound effects. Now yeah, speaking of which, my sounds turn off. Yeah, I always, well, your music master, eh, whatever. Alrighty, well, I think we're gonna go to the next design. And that design is by, well, this one here. Actually, let's take a look. It's actually the last design for this video. It's relatively simple, as you can tell. Ha ha. So this is known as SU47 Burkhart, which I think this is made more based on something, yeah, in real life. Modern fighter designed for use by USSR. And this design is made by the YouTube Phantom. Oh, whoa! <laughs> well, that's a surprise. Whoops. That nurse. Yeah, totally part of the design. Well, it, it doesn't it doesn't wreck. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that did you design it like just deliberately? Okay, this is this is clearly expertly made. Come on guys. You can't tell me it's not. Alright, what does number one do? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, oh, nothing. Okay, ladder. Just do that manually. Retract. Well, that was that was an interesting design. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Rolls good. Yaw is not too bad. Let's try this out. I want to see if we can land this thing. Come on. You guys were doubting me last episode, saying I'm not an expert. <clears throat> and I uh, agree to it, but... I'm going to try and change a few things. I'm going to show you that I'm learning to be an expert after more than six years worth of KSP. I think it's over six years now. It's probably like seven or something. Who knows? I'm not counting the years anymore. There we go. All right. Let's just turn that off. Okay. We're, we're, we're going pretty fast. Yeah, it's going to crash, is it? Uh, this is going to be tight landing. Oh, that was dangerous. Yes, I know it's dangerous. All right. We're going pretty darn fast. Okay, 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 eh, eh, okay, that's not good. That's, okay, bye-bye runway. Oh, eh, space butt, space butt. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Land, you damn thing. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, look at me. What landing issue was there? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I see. Aha! <laughs> well, that... This is a very unique final design, I think. Originally, I thought it was simple. I was wrong. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. I'd like to thank the subscribers for their interesting submissions this episode. Uh, the subscribers are Dogbite Victim, because he has been bitten in real life. I hope not. I hope you're okay. Don't worry, we can seek medical attention if you need it. We have Gruffin89 and Future Phantom. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Bye bye.